When I first started playing Kingdom Come, I had a frustrating time finding Belladonna. After checking Google and spending quite a bit of time looking for this, I didn't find much, so I decided to make this guide. My hopes is that uh, this guide will help you have a much easier time trying to find this elusive herb. This guide will give you tips for how to spot this herb, this hard to see herb. It will provide you with some spots for harvesting it that I felt were exceptional. And it will also show you how to find it in most major areas of the game. Table of contents, I'll list times after each of the sections and just feel free to go to the section that you want uh, at, in the time of the video that it's listed. So Belladonna is going to be one of the harder plants and herbs to find. Uh, it, it, this is what it looks like right here. It's a green plant that looks a little bit pokey with the uh, like purple buds on it. Um, when you find it, you normally, there's normally at least about five or so, and in some cases less. They come in like two sizes. This is like your standard size. It's a fairly large flower, but sometimes you could find a small one like the one right here. So my best advice is just to look for the large ones, to look for bushes sticking up that look a little bit pokey. You'll get an eye for it after a while. These things uh, are not not very frequented in the game, but there, when you do find them, you can oftentimes find out quite a few in one area. So, uh, yeah, that's the best advice. Just to get a good eye to find this type of thing. Look for the purple and look for the big pokey bushes that, that don't go straight up. Because that's what happens. If you look from far away, it doesn't go straight up. It's like a little bit jaggedy and stuff. So, hope that helps. My most favorite spot for finding Belladonna is uh, near Rovna. On the large map, it's right there. It's just uh, south east of Scalitz. Uh, it's in this large field area starting about where the hill is, as well as the, the house there, and there's also some down there. Uh, but this is the hill is in the flatland area here is the best area for it because it's so easy to see. If you have a horse, it helps a lot. But this whole field has lots of this belladonna in it, and it's the sticks up above all the other plants, uh, and there is a ton of them. So, yeah, this is my favorite spot to go to get belladonna, if I ever need any. Uh, there's normally a random encounter right over there, uh, but once you dispatch uh, the enemies in that random encounter, then they won't be back. Well, they've never been back for me anyway. So yeah, there's a lot here. And I think it ends about here. Uh, if you go up on this side, there's, there's also some in this area as well. You'll see plants over here. They're just everywhere in this couple fields that are around this property here. All along the hill and along this hill as well. Uh, not as much over here, though, I think. But still a decent amount. So yeah, this is a large area of belladonna. Like, there's, right here is like a, about 10 or 15 plants. Another really good area for belladonna, as well as nettles, is also in Rovna. Uh, it's sort of in this field here. This map isn't quite accurate, I don't think. that That is not in the right place on the map. So, But anyway, I'll show you how to get there from the map marker. From the map marker you're going to head northwest on the main road. It's going to curve west. After you get past the bridge you're going to go on this trail to the west. It'll pass another small bridge and as soon as you pass the next bridge so you're going to start heading to the south in this field area right past this haystack thingy. You'll start to see nettles all over the ground and also belladonna will be with it. So all in this whole field you could go in the field and see lots of them around. And they're all in this field. You could also get sage if you're here. There's sage, some valerian. They have a little bit of wormwood here. Some wormwood up there. And uh, so yeah, there's quite a bit of nettles. 
I'm sorry, uh, Belladonna. Low cut pasture as well, so it's easier to see them. So anyway, there you go. Another one of my favorite locations to get Belladonna is northeast of Ratte. Well, more specifically, northeast of Ratte Upper Gate and the Ratte Inn. There's a like a fence here to the north of a dirt field and then another f half of a fence. It's in this section right here. It's about halfway between Newhoff and Ratte. On this field, which is a fairly large field, there are both nettles and belladonna. There's more nettles here than you're ever going to need in the game. So if you need nettles, then this is the place to go, and then you could get your belladonna and have all the ingredients you need for Save Your Snaps. Uh, there are a lot of belladonna here. Lots and lots. Having a horse helps too. Uh, then you could see the t tips of them because the tips poke out of the grass. It's the lightest of the green herbs or flowers that grow in this field that stick out. So you'll see that'll make it easy for you to see. See some are right over here. You can see them poking out. More poking out. Uh, you might have to have your graphics set a little bit higher than normal. I'm not really sure. I currently have it on very high. But you, when you're doing this, you might want to switch your graphics setting up so it'll be easier for you to see them. I'm not sure. Maybe it doesn't make a difference. But if you have a hard time seeing them, then do that. So anyway, there you go. Before we start working on locations, it's important to note I've added three locations onto the map that are sort of my own locations because they don't have a marker, but they're very good locations for finding herbs. One is Rovna Pastures, which is west of Rovna and sort of south of Scallets. The other is Flower Fields in between the Ratte Mill and Ladeshko. And finally, there's the Ratte Farmlands to the southwest of Newhoff and northeast of the Ratte Inn. There are three patches in flower fields for Belladonna. There's a west patch, a central patch, and an eastern patch. The west is actually sort of a junky patch, but if you need a couple extra, then there you go. The best one's actually in the central patch, and uh, the eastern patch is so-so. There's a group of Belladonna that are all fairly close to one another in like the central flower fields area. That's like almost just east of the blacksmith from uh, Ladeshko. If you're right here at the blacksmith, you're going to take uh, the road up to the southeast uh, area, up the hill here, where the two building, three buildings are, and then you'll start seeing them on the left. There's one there, one right there, and they're all along the road here. Uh, you'll just have to keep your eye out. There's another one right there, another one right there. And uh, once you get past the first couple that are here on that first part, then you're going to head to the next section of them, which is on the right side of the road, right here. This area here is right across from this little oh, dirt field. There's about eight of them in here. You just got to look around a little bit. One right there, another one right here, one right there, one right there. So that is the patch on the right side of the road. Now we're going to head down past this dirt field in this little area here for the next patch. Down here there's a there's quite a bit more. I think there's about eight or ten of them here. You just got to keep your eye out open also. One right there, two. Two right there, a couple over there. One right there. One right there. Yeah, they're all in this little area here. Just got to keep your eyes peeled. From this patch, we're going to head over to the biggest patch, which is in this little rectangle or triangle area near the dirt field. Um, so from here, you're going to head west, where that patch of trees are next to the dirt field. And all surrounding the trees are a bunch of belladonna. All this around, some there, there, a couple there. Yeah. So I think there's over 30 patches or so, or around that, if you get all the ones here. 
Uh, so that is Central Flower Fields patches of Belladonna. Right there, right there, and right there, right there. So the Belladonna East Flower uh, Fields patch is located, obviously, to the east near this group of dirt fields. Uh, it's to the south of the dirt fields there. If you're over here at the dirt fields, and you're going to want to get the one furthest south, southeast, and you'll start seeing them in the patch here. There should be about 13. There's just one there. Two, three. And they're just all around here. Four, five, six. They're pretty close together, too, so that helps. Seven, eight, nine. Ten. Uh, yeah. Eleven. Yeah, you'll just have to look around. I've, I've found thirteen before, the, but they're around in here. So, oh, there's one in back there. Okay. So again, it's in this area here. The East Flower Fields Patch. While the uh, Belladonna Flower Fields West Patch is in no way glamorous, I added in just for completion's sake. It's also near the Blacksmith uh, in Ladeshko. Uh, you just head from there up to the south. Take the right path instead of the left, the one that you took for the central one. And then uh, you look at the first field here. And then they will be up here both under and above and it's sort of irritating to get them because they're all spread across here some are down below and you can only reach them if you're down here there's a couple there there's three and there i think there's yeah there's four but this patch is quite a bit more irritating because you got to go up and down here and Go to the above part, and on the other near the trees at the beginning, there's also some right above at the top part here. But this patch is by far the most least worth your time wasting to get. Well, for the most part, I'm not going to include uh, areas in the forest. Uh, this is one uh, worth noting. I actually saw this on another guide. Um, this is a Belladonna patch that is south, uh, west of Ladeshko and far east of Red Pay. Go to the flower fields and head, uh, to the west. There's gonna be a forester's camp there. You just keep on heading west and, uh, I'll show you how to get there from here. You're gonna take, uh, the road that goes to the west, this direction, and head to the left path of the Y. And then soon on the left, you're going to see some, like, ruins. Some ruins right up here. At this point, you can get off your horse <clears throat> and start exploring around the place. They should be in this field uh, right around this area here. Now, there is one thing to note. There is a bandit camp to the, like, the southeast east, and they do roam up to the... Uh, ruins there, so you might be attacked by bandits. There's a camp of four. So they're just in this uh, area here. You just got to look around. Uh, I don't, uh, this place has uh, 200 of these, uh, which is about 100 bushes or so, but they're spread all around, and it's very, to me, pretty difficult to see them. So, uh, and besides that, it's quite a bit of distance away from major towns. So, so here are the two patches that are found in Ladeshko. There's one of the west and one of the north. We'll be going to the one of the west first. From the uh, map marker here, you start to head northwest, north. Then you get to the, ta I think it's the tailor. After the tailor, you're going to take the main road to the southwest, west direction. And then you're going to follow that all the way outside town. Now, once you leave town, you'll see this group of bushes right here. This is uh, sort of where they start. You look here, you'll find a couple. They're all going to be hidden around. I'm not sure there might be some. Yeah, there's some around the other side. I don't know how far they go out, but. So, yeah. And there's also some past here hidden in the rest of the brush. 
You just gotta poke your head around and look for them. But past that, there's also a couple on the fence right up here. One right there. Another one. I think that's the end of this patch. Oh yeah, there's one more right there. So that's for the west patch. Now we're going to the north patch, which is sort of in this area here. And you go to the fences. Uh, and follow them all the way along to the end, and that's where they start at. There's one right here, a couple here. Yeah, you got to keep your eye around. There's a couple here. Nothing there. They're all hidden in the brush here. I don't know how many there are. There's probably about 10 or 15 of them. Uh, they also go to the north. Slightly past, but there's fewer up here. you got to keep your eye out open here. There's one here. One there. And I think there's another couple. There you go. I think that's about it. Oh, yeah. You continue up here a ways. Oh, there's another one there. I think there's some more up here, but they're pretty sparse. Yeah, there's one right there. That might be the last one. Yeah, see, there's two. So, anyway, there you go. That is the western and northern patches in Ladeshko. There is some belladonna in Merhohead. It's uh, to the far north in this camp. Unfortunately, it's uh, there are bandits here, although I am at this spot where you can harvest it, and it doesn't appear right now that they detect me. So it's possible that you can do this and get them without actually attacking these guys. Just got to jump in from this side. You got to come in from the west side, loot it, and then head on out again. There's two fields in the Ratte farmland that have belladonna. There's one right here that's just a little ways to the northeast of the lodgings in like the northeastern part of Ratte. And then another one a little bit further down. So, here is the first field. Small field that goes across right there. Uh, there's probably about 15 of these plants located in this field. In different parts. They're not too hard to see from, from a horse. I'm, I'm gathering there's about 15. There might be 20. So this field is actually smaller than the next field. Next field is between these two walls right here. And this next field actually has nettles and belladonna. So this is one of my favorite fields of belladonna for belladonna in this game. It's past a yellow field, a field with yellow flowers. So as soon as you see that big field with yellow flowers, then it's going to be to the left. And there are lots of belladonna and nettles in here. There's probably more nettles in here than you'll ever need in the game. And tons of belladonna to boot. Just, uh, yeah, there's plenty of them here. All that you'll ever need, it goes all the way down here. I won't stop and show you every one, but this field is really big. So there you go. All the ingredients you need for Save Your Snops right here. So the Belladonna at the Rat Mill is in this uh, section here. It's under this very large tree. That tree there. There's uh, seven patches in this area here. One here. Two. Three. Four. Five, and there's some two right around the corner here. Six and seven. There's a nice belladonna patch to the southwest of Ratte. Uh, if you go from the lower gate down to the bottom at the slope, to the bottom of the slope, there's going to be a food pot. It's your first marker. Then there's going to be a bridge to the southwest. Going to go across that bridge. And then there's going to be a small little hill going up here. You're going to 
get off your horse, and then shortly after the hill you should start seeing them. There's, there's a group here. There's a total of 30 of them that I remember counting. There's another group right over here. And there's a, a group sort of in the going down the hill here. Another group over here. There's a group of them sort of hiding in the bushes here. And then there's another one right here and sort of almost like in in the dirt. The first Belladonna location in Rovna is actually pretty good and it's pretty close to the map marker. Uh, from the map marker you're going to start heading northwest to the first bridge and then you're going to take the small path to the west and there's going to be another bridge right here. And at that point, you're going to start heading to the south. It's going to be like this uh, haystack or whatever. And at that point, you're going to start seeing them everywhere. Uh, the belladonna is all in this field down this way until the field ends. You can go to the southwest to reach the edge of it. And then, yeah, they're everywhere in here. There's also a lot of nettles or, as well. So you can get all the ingredients you need for save your snaps from this field and plenty of belladonna to go with it to boot. The Belladonna Patch southeast of Rovna is one of my favorite, if not the favorite, Belladonna Patch around. If you're heading southeast on this road to the south, heading down this road, it's going to be this hill area here and all over there. So, we're going to take our horse here, pass across this bridge, and right here to this huge hill right here. Uh, right on the hills when it start, they you start to see them. They're I think at the top. Yeah, right. They start right there, and they are all in this field area all that way until you get pretty much almost to the end. Now there's also a ton over here on this other side as well that also go the same direction, and there's some on this property here. A little bit here and there. Right on. Um, there you go. And then there's a bunch right over here. So they also go all the way up the hill. There's some there. Some there. I'm not really sure how far that far back they go towards the west, but and they end right at this trail, I think. Yeah. There are some other Belladonna locations in the Rovna pastures area and south of Scouts, but I didn't find them as significant either because their patches were smaller but they were, or they were very far away, but I'll list them anyway. There's one sort of uh, north of Rovna in this section right here. There's a little patch down to the south. And then a couple other very far, far into the hill area. Um, there's also in Scallets, uh, if you go to the northwest of Scallets in this location, there's a Woodland Gardens uh, with a decent amount of Belladonna. I'm not sure exactly how many, but not a lot, probably 10 or 15. I'm not sure exactly how many, uh, but there's not too much in Scallets. Uh, it's mostly in the Rovna area. So the first place to get belladonna in Samapesh is at the Woodland Garden to the south. If you look at, there's going to be these buildings here, and the first one to the north, northeast, is fenced around, and there's a opening, and there's going to be a path right here behind. Well, that'll lead you right to this Woodland Garden. Now, in this garden, there's actually a lot more, too. So, coming here is actually very beneficial. You get a lot of mint. There's comfrey here. There's a lot of valerian on one spot. And then there's also herb paris. And more mint. Uh, so, the belladonna is found on the north side there. And on this side as well. Um, I think I normally get 25 when I harvest it all. 
25 belladonnas, not bushes. The second two spots to get belladonna in Samopesh is located near the herbalist in these two woodland gardens. If you're coming from the town, you're going to take the road to the south, west, westish, and then at the second tur right turn, you're going to take the big road, and it will lead you right into the forest. Once you get in the forest, you're going to take an immediate right, and then this will lead you up to the first woodland garden. There should be five bushes in there. As soon as you get those belladonna, then you could head to the west. That'll be the herbalist. And then just go right past her. And there's another garden right here. And there should be another five right there. So that's t ten total bushes. There's another belladonna patch uh, actually just west of the monastery. It's actually a really good patch because they're all really close to one another. Uh, if you, you could see the bridge from here, it's near this like a uh, vine field or whatever. Yeah, they're all really close to one another and there's a bunch of them. Goes around these bushes here. And then it heads north. There might be a couple that way, I don't know. But yeah, there's a lot. There's a belladonna patch if uh, from the monastery if you follow the road to the west. It's right at this huge tree. Uh, all surrounding the bushes around the tree hold the belladonna. There's about 14 bushes here. You'll see them fairly close to this area, to the bushes around the tree. There's like three sections of them. I've counted 13 or 14 going around here. So, there you go. There's a belladonna patch to the northeast of the monastery. Uh, I wouldn't suggest going in here unless you want mint. If you want mint, there's a lot of mint to go with it. So, sure, why not if you want mint? You're going to have to go across this area here. There's a dam right here, and just to the south of it is a shallow area. And then head north to this spot. You're going to see there a house, and if you head west, there's a bush. If you continue west, there's another bush. If you go to the back side of the bush, you'll start seeing belladonna here. It's hiding in these very high plants. It seems like they do that notoriously in this game to make belladonna hard to find. So just go around the bush and there's a bunch more patches here and there and everywhere. Uh, then after that you continue heading north. And you'll see more belladonna patches until you get to this area with pink bushes. At this point you'll see mint everywhere. There's patches all around there. You just have to dig, dig in and dig around to find them. They're a really light green flower. And there's also a nice patch to the no even north of that. So. Anyway, there you go. So there's a small patch of nine belladonna in Sasau uh, to the north of the inn. If you're looking at the inn, there's going to be the stone wall here. And if you go to the east of it, then the belladonna patch will be here. There you go. There's quite a few belladonna actually in the eastern hills of Sasau. There's a little woodland garden here with quite a few of them. And they're also sort of in the scattered along the trees uh, of the forest just at the entrance. So from the weaponsmith in Sasau, you're going to head east. It's the easiest way to get here. And then just follow this little pathway and go right behind the little garden here. It's directly behind that. And incidentally, there's quite other few things here. There's a lot of belladonna here. There's some comfrey. Uh, and also some herb paris in the back. Now, after you get those, and there's quite a few other belladonna here as well. You just got to follow this tree, these trees around. And uh, sometimes it's in the back. 
Oh, there we go. It starts here. So you got these here. There's some in this side, but I don't want to go digging through here to find out where they're all at. Yeah, see, we got some them there, but there are some behind in the back, just right around the tree area, sort of here. There we go. We got a whole bunch of them. Yeah. So I have no idea how many there are, but there's plenty here for you. You just gotta look around and stuff. I think it ends about here, or maybe where I'm at. There's a nice belladonna patch with about 20 belladonna bushes in this little section right here. It's uh, northeast of Sasao. You're going to take the north road to uh, along the north path. And at the second Y junction, you'll see a house there on the left. It's like broken down and whatever. Then right after the house, there's this like a tree, tree bush area. Uh, there's a lot of thistles here as well. Then they have these all just spread out in this whole area. In the whole area, you could find them throughout this area. You just got to go looking around. Yeah, there's a there's a whole mess in here. So anyway, that's those. There's also a small patch also to the southeast of here. Across this road. And they're right over here. There's also just maybe a couple that are behind some of these trees in the same area. But it might not be worth your time. But these are right near there as well. So, there you go. So the only place in Talberg that I know that has belladonna is near the Huntsman, and it's actually a pretty respectable spot with belladonna. If you get to the Huntsman here, there's the entrance to the Huntsman, and around the Huntsman's building to the south part of his building, there's some belladonna, like nearby with like hiding in the trees the rest of them are found on this other hillside the hillside extends all the way here and in that area now there's also some in slightly in the forest in the outskirts so don't forget that part i found in total in this area including the just the outskirts of the forest and right next to the huntsman i found 116 belladonna now that's belladonna, that's not bushes. So it's probably going to be around 50 bushes or so. But there, so with that said, it's a good amount of belladonna stretching this whole area. But don't forget the ones in the forest because there's actually quite a few of them hiding in here. So there you go.